So one of the questions um, or one of the comments that we get a lot at Scientists for EU is that UK science has been great for centuries. It was great before the EU came along. Therefore, it will be great when we leave the EU. Now, careful with this line of logic, because it can also be applied to computers or the Internet. Uh, the UK was certainly great long before the computer was invented. Um, in fact, back in Newton's day, you could do very fine world-leading science with just a compass ruler and, and a nicely powdered wig. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you can throw out the computer now. Because times change and science changes over time. When the computer came along, we harnessed that additional processing power. Uh, when the internet came along, we found that we could share information globally that much more easily. And we are now in the era of big science and international science. And this is where the EU comes into play, because the EU really allows us to scale up. Through the EU, we share infrastructure, uh, we share freedom of movement, we share policy making so that we're all working off the same standards, and we share a pot of funds that all of our governments chip into so that we have a budget for science which covers the whole spread of disciplines. Now, this together gives us massive added value and massive stripping down of bureaucracy. Uh, it gives us added value because we know that international research has more impact, up to 50% more impact than domestic only research, and massive stripping down of bureaucracy because let's say you wanted to put together a dream team from eight different countries, um, and instead of those different labs having to run off to eight different governments, they can just get together as a team and apply for funding from one common source, one point. Um, and that's the beauty of it. That's the, the, um, the, the massive advantage that we have here. Now, there are other countries around the world that operate outside uh, the EU or the European research area, um, but they don't have the same advantages that we do in the guts and the engine of this great multinational hub. Um, so the next time you hear someone say that British science was great before the EU came along, think, yeah, okay, fine, but 1950s British science in splendid isolation is not really cut out to be a world leader in the 21st century world. Hmm. Oh, well, this. You can get one of these, too, if you just go to our shop at scientists4eu.uk.